Hello, for today's video demonstration I want to answer a, a user's request for a demonstration on how to create revolved features in SOLIDWORKS 2010. Uh, we begin by creating a revolved feature just uh, the same way you would do an extruded feature and that's by creating a sketch on one of your reference planes. So I'll just begin a sketch on the front reference plane and uh, when we are sketching a feature for a revolve the idea is to only sketch half of the feature. So I'm going to create uh, some kind of a revolved uh, feature, maybe something like you might encounter uh, in the uh, oil field industry, some kind of a revolved shaft type of thing. Uh, and I'm just drawing uh, one half of the profile and getting in some some kind of rough approximate shape of of this object um, we can we can then of course uh, use our sketch relationships and dimensions to appropriately size and constrain this sketch now the trick with the revolve again because you're only drawing half the profile is that you need to draw in a center line feature that will represent the axis of revolve so I'll use my center line tool and just draw a straight line starting from the origin. It doesn't matter how long you make this line, but uh, as a matter of convenience you might want it to be at least as long as your desired part. You don't have to dimension it, but you probably do want to make sure that it has sketch relationships. Like here I've got a relationship that makes that that line horizontal and locked down to the origin. So now when my part revolves, it'll be revolving about this center line, which will then serve as an axis. Okay, next we just need to put some uh, sketch relationships and dimensions on this model. I will use the uh, fully defined sketch command to auto dimension my sketch and I just want to get uh, a, a dimension scheme I'll have it place the dimensions above the sketch and to the left now SOLIDWORKS automatically comes up with a dimension scheme here and you can see that the sketch is now fully defined so now a person just needs to go in and modify the dimensions to uh, to their liking now I'm not crazy about uh, the dimension scheme that SOLIDWORKS has chosen here where all these uh, these dimensions here on the side are given as radius dimensions. I'd like those to be diameter so I want to show you a quick little dimensioning trick. Let's just delete these radius dimensions and this trick involves uh, using your smart dimension tool whenever you have a center line if you create a dimension from an entity to the center line by default it wants to be a radius dimension but notice as I move the mouse to the other side of the center line that dimension now wants to behave like a diameter dimension so again the trick is to dimension to the center line and then just place the dimension on the opposite side of the center line and it will be, cons it will be uh, treated like it's a diameter and it looks like one more diameter dimension should lock in my design intent here now I have a fully defined sketch and I'm now ready to exit the sketch mode and go to my feature panel and choose the revolved boss feature. When I choose a revolved boss, because there was only one center line in the sketch, SOLIDWORKS automatically assumed that to be my axis of revolution. However, I could pick any other line or center line that I wanted to be the axis of revolution if I wanted to. Uh, we will take the default of 360 degrees, that will create a full revolve and we just hit the OK button and now we've created our revolved feature and at this point you can now continue adding other features like chamfers, fillets, revolving other things like maybe o-ring grooves and things of that nature so that's just a very simple example of how you can create a revolved feature and just like any other SOLIDWORKS feature if you explore the feature manager tree you'll see the sketch is available where a person can go back and edit the sketch or you can edit the feature to return to the feature parameters maybe to change it from a 360 degree revolve for example to a 180 degree revolve. So a lot of uh, editability just like with any other feature. I invite you to take a, a, a few minutes and explore the revolve feature if you haven't made those before. You'll find it's really easy, very discoverable.